Hey Angry Admins Nation, today I will show you how to join your vCenter to domain. Let's start. So why do we want to join um, vCenter to domain? So we can administrate from Active Directory and we can assign policies, we can manage um, and access to vCenter through Active Directory. Hence, to mimic the real life environment, Let's join vCenter to domain. So to do so, we need to go to our vCenter menu and administration. And now we go to users and groups. And we see that we have only two domains, which is local and vSphere.local, which was created during the installation. So let's go to configuration. And here we have Active Directory Domain. Let's click on it. And as we can see, it's not joined. This is our vCenter. And it says the node did not join any Active Directory. So let's do join AD. But before we do that, we need to have a user which has a right, which has a privileges to join object to domain. So for that one, I, I RDP to our domain controller. And if you skip the video, how to add your DNS to your vCenter, to your home lab, uh, and uh, the, the, this server is serving as a domain control, then the link will be up here somewhere. You can check and in the description of the video and you can check uh, that video before you go ahead. But if you have your domain controller already in your environment, then you have to go to Active Directory Users and Computers. And I build OU called Admins. And in this OU, I will add another user. And I will call him SVC, SVC from Service Account. And the last would be add join you can came up with any name you want so the login will be svc underscore add join i will click next password and as this is my home environment I just click here, so password never expires, and uncheck the user must change the password on the next login. Click next, and click finish. One more thing, I will add that account to two groups. So we add to the domain user, the domain admins, domain admins and I will add to the group which I created which is called VMware VMware admins so that group will um, through that group we will control the access to, to VMware now those the, this VMware admins that's just an empty group I didn't apply any policies to it but Inside the vCenter, I show you how to how to use that group to control and access. Okay, so once we have this one, we can minimize that one, and we can try to join our vCenter. Let's click on the join ID. Now we have to put our uh, domain. And now we use our account. and click join. And what we have here, there's an error because that account doesn't exist. And I think I know what I did. I didn't leave the underscore on the on the login account. Let's have a look. I ah, see I did the, so this is, a, this is, this is my error. I name is as 
add join and in the account I just have a 1d so let's correct that one apply okay but this is a great example and um, that not everything is going smoothly uh, okay let's try again all right and we are joined but now this is very important message uh, you see the node has joined Active Directory successfully. Reboot the node to apply changes. Okay, so now we are going to our VAMI. Through port 5480. We are logging as a root. And now we need to reboot a appliance. Reboot and click yes. And now it will take a few moments, so I will cut the video now and I'll be back once everything is uh, is back. Okay, and the center is back. So let's try, um, let's see how it goes. Okay, and we can see that our center has been joined. Now we can we can add identity source. So let's click add and one information from VMware that integrated Windows authentication will be deprecated in vSphere 7. So they want to um, deprecate this type of method of authentication and there's a and we can use a active directory over LDAP or open LDAP uh, but for now there's no date when this will be phased out so we okay to use it and I am going to use it so our domain is already populated just click add click on that method and set as default. So now, instead of local account, which is administrator at visa.local, we can use AD account. So let's go to the global permissions and add a user, which will be the administrator for our vSphere. And I already created that user and it's called angry admin. And that's the account and that's the group which we'll be using so let's change to our active directory so it's VMware admins so anyone who we put to VMware admins will be administrator on the vSphere that is more uh, that is why that choice so let's click OK and we see that now our group is added and it's coming from the Active Directory. So let's test it. Let's log out as a local admin and let's try to use Active Directory. And we are in. And as you can see, now it's angry admin at angry systems.local okay that's everything for today if you do have any questions or comments please leave them down below the video in the comments section or you can ping me on the twitter read my blog at angry and see you in the next video bye